Four years ago, a dedicated family man is maliciously ambushed while trying to park his car. Troy Benson was shot and killed on May 12, 2014 on Detroit's west side. When Troy was taken, his family lost the integral piece to their puzzle. They live in constant anguish and pray daily for answers. Troy Benson, also known as T, was murdered four years ago on Monday, May 12, 2014 at approximately 3.30 in the afternoon. The incident happened in the parking lot of the Top of the Drive Apartments located at 12880 West Outer Drive near Bramall Street in the I-96 Expressway on Detroit's west side. Troy had been home when he received a call to come to the apartments. After arriving there, he began to park his gray 2014 Chevy Malibu. Concurrently, a dark colored van approached his vehicle and an unknown suspect began firing several shots at him. Troy was struck several times and passed away as a result of his injuries. Troy Benson was only 28 years old. My son was killed a day after my birthday and a day after Mother's Day. And 10 days after his 28th birthday, my life will never be the same. I haven't celebrated any of those days since my son passed. The man was a good boy. He did for everybody. He, it, it, you didn't have to ask him for nothing and he was there for whatever. He did not deserve this. All we're asking you to do is give us closure, his daughter's closure. They will never get a chance to see their father again. I got two great granddaughters here that got a father. Okay, somebody out there know what happened to my grandson. We need closure. I want to be able to sleep at night. We need closure. And if this was your family, I would do the same for you. You just need somebody to speak up. If I don't care if you feel like it's not important, it's important to us. Speak up. If you have any information regarding this murder, we are asking that you please help this family by making an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You may also visit our website at 1-800-SPEAK-UP.ORG. And remember, your identity will always remain 100% anonymous.